right, so hit the like button, hit the sub button, hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. All right, look. Get the paper bags out. Get the paper bags, man. Get the paper bags. Like, th th this is sad. This is sad. But I can't pretend to be angry. I can't. You know, look, I'm going to be up. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. The season officially died with Tyrod. Tyrod was all we had left. Because we got the news that Daniel Jones is going to come back in week 10 versus the Cowboys. So it's like, you know what? Okay, we good. Couple more week, couple more weeks of Tyrod Taylor. We can sustain that. We can win a couple games with Tyrod. Get Daniel Jones back. We'll get smoked by the Cowboys regardless because this is what we do. But at least we'll be hovering around 500. That was my thinking going into this Jets game. Tyrod. Hold it down a couple more weeks. Defense, do what I do, and we can make a run. We're going to get our starting quarterback back in a couple weeks. Everything was falling in place. And then this happened. And look, I've been on Dable ass, pause, all year long. I've done multiple videos saying that this is the worst coaching job I've seen in my life. The way we have not been competitive. Not scoring a touchdown for a month, okay? Getting blown out at home with it with 10 days rest. Getting shut out on Sunday night football to open the year. I mean, this has been some of the worst losses. The Giants have the worst point differential in modern NFL history at the moment. The, the, the 0-16 Browns weren't getting smoked this bad. The 0-16 Lions weren't getting smoked as bad as the Giants. The Giants have not put a competitive product on the field until two weeks ago versus Buffalo. And just when I think Dable got his shit together, fourth and one. At some point, can we trade Barkley? Y'all got so mad at me when I said trade Saquon Barkley. Y'all got so mad at me when I said Trey Saquon Barkley. Y'all still mad at me now? And I'm not blaming Saquon. That's not where I'm going with this. Where I'm going with this is Dable's never going to use Saquon like that. I'm just going to be honest with you. If, if, if Saquon was a priority, if he was going to make Saquon the focal point of the office, they would have paid him in the offseason. Joe Shane and Brian Dable are like best friends. They're lock and step with each other. You saw the game plan, Giants fans, going into the season. It was pass, 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 pass. They had Daniel Jones out there trying to be Josh Allen with no offensive line. Saquon ain't part of the damn. He's not part of this. All Saquon big plays were passes that he caught or dropped, whatever. This was the first game where he uses Saquon the way Saquon should be used but he did that out of necessity because Danny DeVito's a bum or Tommy DeVito was a bum. And all you freaking Italians from Jersey, shut the fuck up. You, I, 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 my, my timeline's getting flooded by all you paisans from fucking Jersey in New York rooting for Tommy DeVito. He's not good. He's not. I get it. He's one of y'all. I understand. Okay, when Tyrod Taylor got his first win as a black man, I was happy. But just because his last name is DeVito did not make him good. He was 0 for 4. He ran for a touchdown, but he was 0 for 4. He's not good. Shut the fuck up. Respectfully. Next on my shit list, Graham Gano. You just got paid. You Fucking bum. You just got paid. All this, does, none of this matters if you make your kick, bro. It's a chip shot. None of this matters if he makes his kicks. None of this matters. Graham Gano, arguably the most consistent player on the Giants. You can't make kicks now? One for three? One for three. We lost by three points. You left six on the table. Y'all do the math.
I, I can't, man. Like, and it's not just this game. Greg Gano missed first the Cowboys. He had, did, did he miss first Buffalo? Or was it what game? He No, it was the Dolphins. He missed first the Dolphins because I watched that live. He had to miss first the Cowboys. He missed two kicks today. Greg Gano been garbage this season. He's been garbage, bro. He's been garbage. And I'm just looking at, you know, look, Saquon, I'm sorry. You got to get some of this smoke, bro. You ran the ball 36 times for 128 yards. That's pathetic. Tommy DeVito was 2 for 7 for negative 1 yards. Tyrod Taylor was 4 for 8 for 8 yards. Got sacked twice. I'm just going to keep it a bean with y'all. Saquon, all you, you couldn't muster up, you couldn't muster us up a touchdown? We couldn't put the ball in Saquon's belly. Ah, oh, damn it, I did it again. Pause. All right. We couldn't hand the ball to Saquon. I did it again. We couldn't hand the ball to Saquon, and he just carry us like Derrick Henry or some shit. Why is our offense this inept when we have allegedly a top five running back? He has to be held responsible for some of this, too. And I know you Giants fans don't want to hear it because y'all love Saquon Barkley, but he doesn't need to be here. I'll have a video later this week, but he, he doesn't need to be here because the Giants have a fire sale to do. I'm going I'm to have a video. We got to talk about all the players that need to be traded. Adoree Jackson has stupid pass interference in overtime. We got some players that just got to go. We got some players that got to go. I'm just, just keep, keep it in the beam with y'all. But uh, Giants fans, listen, I saw, I'm watching the game in overtime, right? So in overtime, they put a graphic on the screen. The Jets were 1 for 14 on third down. You know what the Giants were? 2 for 19 on third down. How the fuck is that possible? 2 for 19 on third down. 2 for 19. How you... Sit the happy hell. Two for nine. I don't understand. How you two for nineteen? I don't get it, bro. I don't get it, man. I can't. You can't make this shit up, bro. You two for nineteen on third down. I can't. Oh no! It actually, what is it? Two for twenty. Because they showed that graphic during overtime, and we punted in overtime. So I think, what are we, two for 20 on third down? Let me look. Now I'm curious. What were we all third down for this game? Let me look. Two for 19. Okay, so it did stop at two for 19. And the Jets ended up being two for 15. And then the defense let Zach Wilson get in field goal range. Like, he gets that bullshit pass to Alan Lazard, I think it was. And then they get the digits. You know what, bro? I'll talk about Kayvon in another video. There is just so much dumb stuff going on in this video. I can't even get to how great Kayvon is. I got to show Kayvon Thibodeau love in another video because there's just so much filth I had to address about this game. Oh, and you know, and, and Garrett Wilson, you're not that good, bro. Deontay Banks had you in a fucking box all game long, bro. I ain't whatever. But look, man, I ain't really got much else to say. I'll be going live tonight. All right, Church of Giants tonight, 8 o'clock. Make sure y'all pull up. We're going to recap the game. And uh, so if y'all save y'all questions, like I said, I'm going to pick two or three of y'all super chats and chop them in the short to chop them in the video. So make sure you got some good super chats for me. Uh, my boy Jay is going to be joining me. May have another guest tonight. You know how I rotate on Sundays. Always bringing out that fire on Sundays. But uh, that's it. That's all, fellas. It's, it's tank time. I'm going to have a whole lot of tank videos this week. So we we going to break it down. But that's it. That's all, man. Subscribe to the unit if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.